Hello, people. Welcome back. Today, we are taking a look at the goofiest, most wild TikTok haircuts. Like the video or else all of your hair is going to fall out of your head. And also, you know, the subscribe button is right by the like button. So just click that too while you're down there. Anyways, the haircuts we're taking a look at today are going to get more and more wild as we go. Let's begin. Starting it off, we got this guy, you know, it looks like he has the usual F boy haircut. We got to see the whole thing though. So... Dear Lord, bro. Oh my God, that is catastrophic. <laughs> fresh or not? Nah? I'm gonna definitely have to go ahead and say, yeah, that's pretty fresh. Yes, yes, yes. Looking good, my dude. Honestly, though, this guy, you know, he has an easy fix. You can just throw on a hat. No one's gonna see that shit. They're just gonna see your little hair flopping out the front of your hat. So just don't go anywhere without a hat, basically. All right, now we have, <laughs> bro, I don't even know what to say. This dude walked into the barber with Roblox pulled up on his phone. He pulled up the little shaggy haircut thing and he was like, yeah, that, that right there, that's what I want. And I mean, you know what? The barber delivered. All right, so now we got this guy. He looks excited to get his haircut. Let's see what they do to him. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Oh my god, that is just awful. Guys, don't forget, it somehow only gets worse from here. Nah, bro. That's just bananas. Do you guys even think that he knows that that's like on the back of his head? I mean, unless they're doing the thing where they give him a mirror to look, like he's not gonna know. Actually, come to think about it right now, I could literally have a banana on the back of my head. I wouldn't even know. And so could you. Well, actually though, imagine he didn't know this was happening. Uh, that would be evil. <laughs> I don't even know if this is considered hair anymore. I mean, it looks like they just glued feathers to his head. I mean, it's pretty drippy, not gonna lie. Dude's definitely pulling all the birds. This is just ridiculous. Uh, I don't know, man. It's kind of a corny haircut. You know what? You gotta give credit where credit's due. In the background there, we see a corn on the cob. That means that this is some fresh corn right there. Only the finest. With the haircut like that, though, you do gotta always be on edge. At any given moment, the corn kid could come from around the corner and just eat your hair off. That is something that you have to worry about with this one. So I don't know how I feel about it. With this haircut, you know, you'll probably get some paint in your hair because people will think that you're a paintbrush. This is actually terrible. Like, what did he even ask for? Bro has a whole cave on his head right now. What? Why is there a parrot? What on earth is going on right now? Karma's a bitch. Something tells me that Parrot did not willingly go in there and he was kind of just shoved inside of his hair, which, oh my God, what a sentence is that? The Parrot was shoved into someone's hair. Yeah, th that's something that could happen apparently. Pretty sure this dude brought in a Chia pet and he was like, all right, dude, make this happen. Serious note, that gotta be itchy as hell. God, I'm just scratching my head looking at the picture. Super, I do the show. We're only halfway through these haircut videos, and this is what we're looking at right now. We got a dude growing a sprout out of his head, and you know, that's the hairdo. Bro woke up this morning and decided he wanted to be a Pikmin. Bro is holding back so many tears. Look at him. He looks sad. There's no way he willingly did this. Shit. 
shit, that is cold. Guys, honestly, if you're still watching after that third corny ass joke, shout out to you, all right? You're a real one. This guy has ice in his veins though, you know? And obviously he just wanted the world to see that. Absolute fire. Or, no, it's not because, okay, whatever. <laughs> What in the absolute fucking tin city am I looking at here? What the fuck? It's going down! Bro is getting Coca-Cola all over his face, man. He's gonna have a breakout in the morning. And you know, the guy putting Mentos into his hair looks all happy about this. He looks pissed! Once again, what an insane sentence. Putting Mentos into someone's hair. <laughs> We gotta think about the logistics of this, all right? Anywhere this guy goes, at any given moment, if he's bored, whatever, he can pull out some checker pieces and play checkers, all right? I mean, that, that's pretty innovative. Why is he like smelling it up though? <laughs> Life is good. <laughs> Alright, so this guy's hair is literally the Sprout guy from earlier. Only this is the Sprout guy himself from earlier. What is happening? Hey, at least he has his emergency lollipop wherever he goes. How do you even come up with this shit? This is something I never, ever, ever thought I would ever see. <laughs> Dude has a bottle of bubble mix as hair. Like, that is just absolutely wild. You know, I can't even lie to you guys. That one's pretty fresh. I mean, that, that goes hard. That goes hard. Would you guys rock the Eiffel Tower haircut? Let me know down below in the comments. Mind games. You can get the chest fade, the monopoly fade. You get some sorry sliders on your hair. I mean, this is just surreal, and you know what? There's something about this one that actually looks like satisfying. Or is it weird that I think it kind of goes hard? Also, though, something I'm wondering about is what this would look like after his hair grows out. It's gonna look absolutely wild. I wanna get a win with Ninja Blevins in my Fortnite land. Players know I'm cracked, they call me- Honestly, guys, I I'm just impressed at this point. Builder, Mr. Builder Man, I just lose my- I think that this looks so shocking and obscure because this guy is just extremely innovative. No longer does he ever have to worry about having a bowl for anything. Imagine the scenario, all right? You're out on a hike, come across a tree, and right now next to the tree, there was a box of Captain Crunch. You turn around and there's another tree. Next to that tree, there is a gallon of milk. But wait, you're in the middle of the woods. You don't have a bowl with you. How are you going to eat the Captain Crunch? That is exactly why this guy got this haircut. Cause now, if that situation ever comes across, he got a bowl right on his head. Genius. <laughs> Imagine taking a step with this haircut. Anywhere this guy goes, he got to balance the water in his little pond on his head. I mean, this is just a recipe for disaster, which I mean, I I'm guessing that that's all this guy wants because how the hell did he end up with this on his head? What the hell? We got a whole ass fish in there? Like, <laughs> actually? That poor, poor fish. 